Hello again. Some time ago I announced that I was working on a, a new project uh, codenamed The Thingamabob and quite a few people raised their eyebrows and were wondering what it were and I sort of, you know, kept it quiet. And now I've, I've finally got it, it's come to fruition. Um, what is it? Well, it's like a culmination of a couple of uh, different ideas from, from the past couple of different videos. Uh, previously you may remember that I came up with an idea for um, Polar Scope um, polar aligning with a, a webcam and a, and a plumbing part and that sort of um, went by the by because the the SPC 900 webcam that we used to use for that it, it, they just like now they're about as, rock, as rare as rocking horse manure um, so I wanted to find a way around that and, and sort of integrate it somewhat, somewhere different as well you know sort of bring a couple of ideas together now the good news is that if you've got one of these which is one of the QHY um, five sort of two or L2 type cameras um, you're in luck uh, now the thing is with these cameras I don't know if you if you're aware or not but there is actually an adapter ring on the front that unscrews that would be this one now if you've got one of the later models you will get uh, a couple of different adapters with it uh, the standard one takes a, a 1.25 filter uh, this one is what we call a CS mount, it'll take CS mount um, accessories and that basically is what my idea revolves around so if you've got one of the older ones and you don't have this CS mount adapter you can get them uh, and, and you can get them through uh, QHY agents uh, such as in the UK that would be modern astronomy now what the idea is, is it's this <laughs> right now, first of all, let's just have a look at this closely. It's actually, um, it's got two thumb screws on there, and you can see, if you look inside, there's, there's a shoulder in there as well. Now, what that does is you couple it up with this, which is a CS mount uh, camera lens. And if you look at that, that's also got a step on it. Now, the idea is that what you do is you push the lens into this adapter all the way, and the step on the lens stops it. Now the, the, the step on the other side is actually for your polar scope in your camera. So what you do is you just push it onto your polar scope, tighten the thumb screw up and that's affixed to your polar scope. Now obviously the camera comes into the equation because that just screws onto the front of the camera. like so but it doesn't stop there because there we have the polar cam part of it it doesn't stop there because if you have uh, one of these which is a one and a quarter to two inch telescope focuser adapter or one of these there's something else you can do if you remove the adapter from the lens put that off to one side and then take this fitting with the lens on it and push it backwards up into the adapter like so the reason why you can't push it in forwards is because if you look there is a little screw on there um, that is that it's the focuser lock for the actual lens because obviously the lens is focusable uh, which is something you'd have to do um, you know is just focus it up once you've first attached it to well whatever purpose you used it for but the thing is now with this is that you can slot this straight into your focuser in a, a reflecting telescope and it now allows you to come perfectly line up your secondary mirror with your focuser because you know you, you can present as a circle in fact again there's a previous video that I've, I've done on that and there's another thing you can do with it is if you can find a way to fix it to a tripod you've now got uh, something that you can have quite a bit of fun with you can um, do time-lapse photographs of clouds which we have quite a lot of in the UK in fact we see more clouds than, than stars um, you can do nighttime time lapses that lets you see that sort of the you know the movement of the stars and and it, this camera is actually so sensitive that you will see um, you know sort of uh, the clusters and stuff quite well with it uh, as they pass over as well as that I'm no doubt whatsoever that people will find lots and lots of uses for it including um, uh, 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 finding um, vintage Mars bars down the bottom of the sofa cam because it's just so small and compact it just gives it a, a 101 uses um, and that's basically it that's what I came up with 
and I'm quite happy with it. It works really well. I've had some people test it, uh, including one disabled gentleman who said that um, it, it just made things so much easier for him, um, being able to polar align by just sticking a camera onto his polar scope and fasten it up. So there it is, that's uh, the culmination of the finger bob that really hasn't got another name because I don't know what to call it, polar collie cam or, or something. Um, that's about it. So once again, thanks for watching.